Yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, here you are seeing the uterus of a 35 years old female with the history, with the history of uh, primary fertility, married, married 13 years. This is the uterus. Measuring 5.7 by 3.2 centimeters. Periods mm -hmm. take up there. I may not be. Uh, there must be some discrepancy between my. method of uh, getting the uterus in length, repeat it. Something around 6.6. .6. Now this is with a normal. Initial was a bit less than uh, normal. Now this is the endometrial canal in very early proliferative phase. Now you see this is a fibroid. Yeah, the lower segment of the anterior wall of the uterus. Yeah. This we are seeing in longitudinal section. This is the urinary bladder, and uh, this is the uterus in longitudinal section, and this is the F will denote the fibroid. So this is the fibroid relating to the posterior segment of the anterior wall of the uterus that measures 2.3 into 1.8 centimeters. Now, having seen this, when I move the probe in the midline anteriorly, I see another, another fibroid. Now this fibroid is what we label as a pedunculated uterine fundal region fibroid. You see, this is the fundus of the uterus. And uh, as I move the probe upwards here, here, I see a hypopoic mass solid well demarcated measuring approximately 4.4 into 4.1 centimeter with this being the urinary bladder. This is the uterus. Fundus, fundus, this is the fundus of the uterus and this is the fibroid. So this is a pedunculated uterine fundal region fibroid with no mass effect on the central clear endometrial canal. Here it is. Now you see this is a better view in a sense that this is the uterus. From here to here is the uterus. This is uh, the measurement. Sorry. This is the urinary bladder, this area. This is the uterus. This, this area is the uterus. This tiny linear structure, this linear structure is suggestive of endometrial canal in very early proliferative phase and this is the fibroid. Now this fibroid as we measured, we measured 4.4 into 4.1 centimeter is hypopoic compared to the uh, adjacent uh, uterine myometrial echogenicity. The myometrial echogenicity is normal and you see that uh, this mass or fibroid is <coughs> relatively hypopoic with no calcification seen within it. Now this is the longitudinal section of this uh, uterus. So 
this is a study in longitudinal section. If you now, if you see, there is another fibroid which is uh, relating to the posterior lip of the cervix. This is the uterus and when I try to align it with the cervix, I get another one. Now you see this is the another fibroid. This is the vagina. This is the lower lip of the cervix and there is yet another uh, hypopoic, well demarcated solid coprolean or mass with no posterior or acoustic enhancement suggestive of a fibroid relating to the posterior lip of the cervix. This is the uterus. In this scan, in this plan, <coughs> I can see only the lower segment of the uterus with the endometrial canal line. This is the endometrial canal line. And this is the fibroid. This is again a longitudinal section. This is the vagina. So we have seen three uh, fibroids in this study. One, this one, relating, this is the anterior lip of the cervix, vagina, anterior lip of cervix, posterior lip of cervix, with a well demarcated hypopoid solid lien, which is a fibroid. Then, as we, uh, I move the probe upwards, I see another, this is the, uh, another fibroid relating to the posterior segment of the anterior wall and as I move the probe anterior I come across another uh, fibroid which is pedunculated and extends from the you see this is the fundus of the uterus this is the endometrial canal this is the urinary bladder and here this Hypopoic area is in fact the fibroid. This area. Yeah. So, this is a case study of multiple uterine fibroids in different locations. Thank you very much. <coughs>